In recent years, severe weather conditions have resulted in devastating destruction that has taxed the budgets of many county and city governments. 100, 500, and even 1,000 year weather events have occurred and area officials are starting to wonder if this is the new normal. If so, what is the best way to build or rebuild infrastructure with the resiliency that can withstand what Mother Nature has to offer? Precast concrete pipes and culverts may be the answer. Mackey Creek. In the spring of 2013, Mackey Creek in Gogibic County in Michigan's Upper Peninsula flooded from excessive spring runoff, causing the culvert where it crosses Lake Road to be washed away. As a result, county officials replaced the washed out metal pipe in 2014 with a 10 foot by 5 foot precast concrete box culvert, which spanned 120 feet. The new improved hydraulics incorporated into the design of the new culvert were considered resilient enough to withstand a 100 year flooding event. That theory would soon be tested. Gogibic County would be hit again with a record setting flooding event. On July 11, 2016, over 12 inches of rainfall occurred all within four hours. This storm exceeded the 1,000 year storm event. But how did that Mackey Creek culvert installed in 2014 survive the storm? Since the 2016 flood event came like a thief in the night, in a rural location, inaccessible due to many similar culverts in the proximity that did not perform like Mackey Creek, real-time video is not available. This simulation reflects the event. The rainfall came down at a rate that exceeded the capacity of the culvert. Water levels from the creek rose until the backed up water crested the road. This caused several things to happen. The road surface floated and shifted to the downstream side of the roadbed. Guardrails were pushed partway down the embankment. On the upstream side of the road, an incredible amount of rocks and boulders, some weighing many tons, were dislodged from the flooded channel at extreme velocities and sent crashing into and through the precast concrete box culvert. Yet after the flood had subsided, the resilient concrete culvert was virtually unscathed. Numerous other non-precast concrete culverts in the near vicinity became buoyant or were crushed, leaving enormous impassable washouts. The effect to the motoring public, emergency responders, and commerce was devastating. The governor declared the district a disaster area due to the numerous washouts of these non-precast concrete culverts. The cost in replacement and inconvenience was enormous, manifesting into millions of dollars. The positive takeaway is that the culvert remained in place and the surrounding roadbed also remained intact. Although the road surface was displaced, repairing the storm damage only took a couple of days. If the lake road would have been completely washed out again at the Mackey Creek location, it would have added to the list of neighboring washed out culverts on Mackey Road, adding weeks, months, and increased cost to the eventual reopening of Lake Road. Gogibic County's investment in precast concrete culverts on Lake Road in 2014 proved to be a wise decision. Federal, state, and local governments and forward-thinking commercial and industrial enterprises are questioning if severe weather events have become the new normal. In response, it is making more sense to replace infrastructure damage with resilient precast concrete pipes and culverts. It is an investment that has been tested and has paid off. Municipalities are turning to precast concrete to solve the challenges they face when experiencing severe storm damage. All precast solutions can be custom designed to meet the specs of each site, providing the versatility and resiliency needed to create a long lasting solution. Precast concrete is the solution you have been looking for.